Well, hello, Internet. This is the coding teacher. I'm here to teach you how to code. Uh, so what we're going to do now is talk about how to send back files. So kind of like the most basic way to use Express to send back a file is uh, by just doing this. Um, so you can say rest.send file. And uh, I'm not entirely sure if this is going to work, but if it doesn't, then I should be able to fix it real quick. This is going to be in static index.html and uh, so we have our server running already so let's give it a shot let's respond right here look pass, path must be absolute uh, in order to use uh, send file so that's what I was expecting in order to create an absolute path with node it's real easy there's this kind of uh, global variable called dir name that just figures out the um, the current directory where your node installation is and if we use that uh, I miswrote the path I have to put another forward slash there there we go but look what's going on here the file doesn't have the styles that it did before anymore and why is that because look it's trying to load localhost css style css and that just doesn't work so in here I have two options I could actually go ahead and say app that get um, css style css uh, function request response and create a whole request handler for um, this CSS file right and that's just gonna look like this that's that send static CSS style that CSS and uh, that should work so go ahead and now we have some styles right and even though you know there's some let me actually go ahead and fix this there's a style here opacity So this is what I gotta take off in order for this to be visible. So now it's visible, right? So that's working, but you don't wanna have to define a node route for every single file that you're gonna serve. That's kind of nonsense, right? So there's this uh, concept in node called uh, middleware. So a middleware is a function that runs for every request. This function right here is only going to run when it's a request of type get to this URL. This function right here is only going to run when it's a request of type get to this URL. But if I want to write a function that will run for every URL, this is what I do, app.use. And then I put the function in there. Uh, and Express just so happens to come built in with um, a function that allows me to serve files statically. And if you're familiar with Apache, it's going to make Express behave as if it were Apache. And the way that you set that up basically is by saying app.use express.static and express.static returns a function. It receives a parameter right here, which is the name of the folder where the static files are contained. And uh, then this call right here returns a function, which is gonna be my middleware. And what does that mean? So basically anything inside this static folder is going to be treated as a static file and it's just gonna get passed through. So if I request, you know, if I create a new file right here, like in immediately inside static, index.j or just you know like photo.jpg or whatever and then I send a get request to my server for the file you know that's the server name slash photo.jpg it's actually going to know to send that file back so let's go ahead and see this in action now we refresh and we're good to go we didn't need any of the other um, routes so this is how to do static files in Node.js this is going to be useful for like your front-end JavaScript your CSS your HTML files and what have you and um, basically uh, as soon as your data is authenticated and uh, as long as your data is authenticated you can just serve all your front-end and, and and your design is careful as, as long as your data is only served under two authenticated users and your design is somewhat careful you can pretty much just serve all your front-end code like CSS and, and HTML and JavaScript, front-end JavaScript, you can serve them by using a static middleware like this. Uh, that's it for this episode. I'll see you next time when we will be uh, creating the Mongoose, mo the MongoDB model, and um, maybe starting the Node.js routes to update those models.